situations that like you feel me like we got things money or shit and shit don't even be going like you feel me yeah, <laughs> I feel like, you. like dang like y'all be like people be let me tell you people be trying to get a nigga for a little bit of money they be like damn that ain't nothing but a little bit of money you know what I'm saying what about a shit you a whole bunch of money or shit you feel me Right, yeah, that, they, like, they won't even they won't even try to like scam you for a lot. They they try to get get a little bit and they keep moving go to the next person. Like, yeah, I don't even like that. You know, I don't like that at all. Real, for real. You know, um, you know, okay. after uh, coming real close, uh, like you know, uh, losing my life. You know, saying I, you know, I almost lost my life, man. I, I was facing like two life sentences. You know, and uh, I, I yeah. was scamming my own people. I was I was getting the big boy. You know, what I'm saying you know, you know, I ain't. Yeah, that was going on though. <laughs> so, you know, I'm saying like, if you're gonna do it, do it like that. Yeah, do it like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello, my people, my people. Welcome to the Kinetic PE Mix Show with your host, DJ Potential, WTLB Digital Broadcast on the Transform You Media Radio. Uh, so uh, today we got a real good guest, uh, someone, you know, I, I got a chance to chop chop it up with on the other side here. You know, we were talking about sports a little bit. You know, uh, I'm not I'm not holding against him that he's a, a Boston Celtics fan. Uh, but you know, <laughs> but I am appreciating that he is from, you know, from, from Georgia, you know, holding it down, you know, uh, really putting in work, you know, um, 30 years old, uh, don't look it, you know, so don't let the age fool you at all. Uh, got a real, real strong mindset, got some real good music that he's pushing out. And, you know, you definitely want to take, take notice to what he's doing and listen to what he got to say here today. Uh, how's it going today, Guala? What's going on, family? I'm doing good, brother. You know, so man, we was talking on this on the other side, and you just got this project that you just dropped last month. Uh, but before we get into that, you know, how about you just give people just a, a, a little, you know, short introduction uh, about like, you know, how you came up with the name, and and just like maybe just your influences, you know, growing up into music. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> well really what inspired me to do music, you know what I'm saying? Basically, I was brought up off of A-Ball, MJG, you know, like Southern music, you know, um, T.I., Dodger Family, uh, Ghetto Mafia, stuff like that, you know. But um, I'm from Noonan, Georgia, Wild Man Bambino, by the way. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I really got the name Guala from... <laughs> I, I changed it from Guatemala, you know, okay. because I was, I was, I had a, I did a bid one time and like it was some Migos, it was some Mexicans in there, you know what I'm saying? So I yeah. think they was, they were fucking with me real hard, you know what I'm saying? But basically they thought I was from Guatemala, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like they were fucking with me like one of their brothers or something, you know what I'm saying? Indeed. Cause like in, in prison and shit, like a lot of Mexican or like Hispanic or racist, they all stick together regardless of what they are. You feel me? And they be some real solid shit. You feel me? So, like, yeah, they were fucking with me. So, like, when I got out of prison and shit, like, I, yeah, they were calling me Guatemala. You feel me? Because they didn't really know where I was from. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, shit, I just ran with that. And then I just, I don't know how the fuck I made Guatemala Bambino out of that. But it happened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. But that was going on. Hey, man. And they were catching the music, like, I feel like. Yeah, I love that. That's a, that's a good backstory, actually, man. And um, you you write about that, you know, having like you know did did a little bit of time myself, and I you know I noticed that like if you if you can connect with people, you know, from all races like that in prison, you know, like that that tells a lot about just who you is as a person and how you carry yourself, you know. So is that the the same type of like you know a love you getting on the outside, you know, uh, still to this day? Where like yo, were you making that connection? You know, even through your music. Oh yeah, most definitely. You know, what I'm saying I get love through my people and then like supporters and things that I have met. Like because I've been on the road too, like a couple of years back. But I, I stopped doing music probably for about a year. You know, mm -hmm. and basically just learned the business aspect of this shit because, like I said, like 
this shit grimy as hell and like nigga be spending money. And so you have to know where to spend it before you do spend it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, we talked about that, man, you know, because this industry right now, it, it is kind of driven by what you do as an independent artist, because like essentially, even if you sign or if you not sign, you, you still got to have that business sense to know how to, how to hustle in this game. Definitely. And see, like, I, I like basically for the past two years, I've been really learning a lot of shit, but like for two years that I had my own record label made, uh, in a, independent record label, you feel me? It's like on site tomorrow. But, uh, so I'm really basically building that. You get what I'm saying? I'm the main artist, main artist off of us right now. You feel me? But like along the way, we're going to build a roster and shit. You feel me? But it just is what it is. This is the way we come. Paper don't sleep. That's what my motto is. You feel me? Uh, I have a clothing line also. Paper don't sleep. You can look it up on paper don't sleep dot com. Uh, okay. It definitely going to check that out. All kind of merchandise. Like I you know, different type of releases. Yeah, I got different type of releases and stuff uh, on there for you, like special services and shit. You feel me? Like, if you want some, if you want some, um, some futuristic shit, you just hit me up. Like, and we we can get down make you something. You feel me? You can get something. You feel me? But uh, yeah, man, we're just really trying to create certain sources of income. You feel me? To where we don't have to depend on nobody or nothing. You know what I'm saying? To be like, shit, we're gonna get this from you. Feel me? We're gonna create. We trying to build an empire, basically. You feel me? I love that, man. And I, I you guys got to check out the the website too. The website is dope. You know, right away, out out the gate, he said, "What hustles are made of?" I, I love that, man. So, lots of different stuff for you guys to shop for on the website. Do check that out. Uh, you do got an Instagram that, that is attached to the the clothing line. So, he out here campaigning, man. We make he making it happen. I love it, man. <laughs> So, no, definitely, man. So, know? so tell us a little bit about just just the decision to go ahead and say, "Hey, I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and do this full time. This is what I want to do." Was this driven by the fact that, like, you kind of you really immersed in the passion of just creating music? Or well, no, nah, I wouldn't just say that because, mm-hmm. like, I right, like man, really what inspired me, because I've been rapping for a few years, but i just really been, like, doing it. I ain't been major, major, like, right. I don't know, all the way full throttle shit. But uh, when I lost my son in, like, 2014, early 2014, like, the shit fucked me up. And, like, that's just the way I can express myself in my music, through my music, you feel me? So that's really the main reason why I do music, you know, to express myself or how I feel and such shit because... Shit, you'll never know. Sometimes, let me tell you, music got them help people out every single day. You feel me? Motherfucker be in fresh states and shit, ready to kill they fucking self and shit. And they might listen to some motherfucking Mary J. Blige and stuff. You feel me? Or whatever the fuck they want to listen to. You know what I'm saying? That they feel gonna get them late and, and, and they all uh, good. They, they good by it. But shit, they gonna listen to some music. <laughs> Yes, sir. Music got done the way I like it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So. <laughs> I'm definitely feel I definitely feel where you're coming from. And and RLP to your son, it definitely, you know, that that is definitely a tragic loss that you, you know that I can't I can't imagine losing a son. I, I got I got four of them. <laughs> Man. And like I I'd be running to some music right away to, to get some healing because I, I don't know what I would do. so with with what you what you doing what type of responses you been getting from people? With uh, with, with in, ter- in, ter- in respect to the music, because like, oh yeah, because I do my dick. I mean, I do my music differently. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I do my shit. You get? You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and like, be versatile. Like, I might switch it up on the song. You know what I mean? Like, with a nigga voice, like a whole other different nigga on this bitch. You feel me? <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. I, I, man, you know, you right. got you got a new project that's coming out. That's what's going. On. You got the new project that you dropped. What's tell us the name of the project, and and what you're looking to do with it. Well, the name of the project is, is the oath is dropped uh, last month. But shit, really, I'm just basically trying to reach 
one thing, you know what I'm saying? We really got to get people to something to listen to. Okay. Uh, in the places where you from, shit, you're going to get more hatred there than anywhere else, you feel me? So like, I ain't worried about who support me where I'm from because they're like, I'm going to do shit to where, you know what I mean? In other places, like, all the way out there where you at, family, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and get what? It's going gonna, it's gonna to make more sense, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because, shit, this little shit here I ain't talking about nothing. This is one little city where I'm from. You get me? Well, we trying to be everywhere, you know what I mean? We got to be global. That's what we trying to do. We trying to be around the world. But, like, shit, that wasn't really going on. My main focus is got them just spreading this shit, you feel me? As far as possible. Yeah, I, 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 I definitely feel you on that, man. And I, I, I can't... I can't wait to like you know really check check it out in full, and and really play you know play it for the audience and, and get their responses, um because like just just your whole philosophy behind like why you doing what you doing you know it's really gonna speak to a lot of people and really inspire a lot of people uh to just you know get off their ass themselves and like you know continue to continue moving forward. Uh, but I think that, on, I think we need more people like you uh, to just uh, you know be on be on the scene. Shit, man, you got off. <laughs> so, so is there a, yeah, yeah. is there a favorite track? I, uh, you know that we that we should be like you know looking looking out for when we when we just go yeah, gonna, go check check it out. Time. Oh yeah, um, talking about places. You said what do what did you say? Let me. Uh, I ain't hear you read that in the question. Hey, Guala, I I know we got you like you know kind of in the middle of uh, transit of right I just, now. I just really had you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, for holding yeah, me no, up, man. yeah, no problem. So you know, uh, we we gonna go ahead and you know just help you, um, you know, wrap this up real quick for for uh, for the audience. Um, just tell us where we can find the music at and where we can get in touch with you if we want to get in touch with you. Well, you can get in touch with me. I got the um, Waterman Bambino on Facebook. Got name one underscore one Waterman Bambino on Instagram, and uh, music everywhere: Apple Music, Spotify. All that, you feel me? So, like, every major platform, you can get it. Wherever, you just tap in, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to tap in. So, really appreciate you uh, coming coming by to stop through and, and chat 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 with us. So, we, we'll we get, we're going to get with you. You know, so we're going to uh, get. Oh, definitely. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Guala. Uh, make sure you uh, check, check out all that he got to offer and much, much more. You know, so support those who support you. Uh, this is Kinetic PE Mix Show with your host DJ Potential. We out. Hey yo 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 yo! Thanks for tuning in to the Kinetic PE Mix Show with your host, of course, DJ Potential. Make sure you check us out on IG at Kinetic PE Mix. Subscribe, rate, and review the show. And don't forget to share, share, share. Check us out next time.